array of uh, structures in C language. Once a structure is defined, we can use the structure for any number of variables. So look at this simple program. What is the name of the structure? Structure name is student and what are the members inside? Name, ID and marks. As I told you, structure definition can be either inside main or outside main. So how many uh, variables are created here? I look at the uh, uh, main uh, part here. S1, S2, S3. Struct student S1, S3. S, I mean S1, S2, S3. The data of three students. If you want the data of five students, S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5 you can use. So enter name, ID and marks of student 1 and name, ID and marks of student 2 and name, ID and marks of student 3. And don't bother about uh, dummy here and dummy, let it be some character, here it is int dummy or let it be some char dummy. You just make a small change over there. So here uh, we store the data of three students in the structure and as we discussed in the earlier session the complexity of any program will be increased if we have more number of variables. So if you have 20 students we need to declare 20 variables and to store them one by one or we can uh, repeat the things using for loop. These type of things are a little bit complex, uh, so we better use the concept of array of structures. Array of structures. Look at the structure definition. Name of the structure is employee and we have members ID, name and salary. A look at the structure declaration. Struct employee EMP within brackets 2. EMP is your structure variable and within square brackets too is size of the array. So EMP of 0 is first employee, EMP of 1 is your second employee as I told you earlier also integer occupies 2 bytes, here it is showing 4 bytes so you just consider only 2 bytes and continue with that. So char name of 5 is 5 bytes. There are uh, a few typo mistakes here, don't bother about those mistakes. So look at this program, uh, structure name student, we have members, row number and name. In the main program, struct student st of uh, 5, means 5 student, st is name of the variable here. So if you have one variable, if you have one student, if it is, uh, the structure variable is S1, we can use S1 dot roll number and S1 dot name. If you have two students, S1 and S2 are the structure variables, so we can access the data like S1 dot roll number and S1 dot name, S2 dot roll number and S2 dot name. If you have an array of structures, S of I, if the array variable is A, A of I, A of I dot roll number and A of I dot name. Here uh, the structure variable is st, so st of i dot roll number and st of i dot name. That is the only difference in structures and arrays. And once we are using arrays, then a for loop is compulsory. When i is 0, st of 0 dot roll number and st of 0 dot name, the data of one student. When i is 1, st of 1 dot roll number and st of 1 dot name student 2 and so on and similarly the same way to print the data a printf statement with st of i dot roll number and st of i dot name when i is 0 data of one student will be printed when i is one second student and so on